what's up this is ray from the rink and welcome back to my channel now as you can see we got this sting gray rubicon behind me and you'll be all like i thought it was earl gray now it's sting gray what's up well anyways i gotta tell you a story the very first brand new car my dad bought was a Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. Now it's back. No, okay, sorry. The Oldsmobile itself is not back. GM is not reviving Oldsmobile and no Cutlass Supreme by any other brand. What's back is the engine under the bonnet. What's under this bonnet and why do I say it's back? It's back because it's a V8. That Killer Supreme that my dad bought way back when, it had a 5.0 V8. It was the car that I learned driving on and it was my dad's first brand new car. It was my first car I ever driven. It brings back memory and how good a naturally aspirated V8 feels. Now for all you guys who know, this V8 is a 6.4 Hemi V8. It's absolutely ridiculous. Now that's why the hence the name 392 cubic inches. That's about 6.4 liters. Now I want to tell you a little bit about this and my Earl Grey, which you guys uh, saw like not too long ago. That's right. This gives you what my Earl Grey could never ever give me, and that's a feeling of stepping down pedal linked to a V8 engine. Now this 392 is completely stock except for the fact that that also tinted the front windows for us and now it's all stock. Not like how out of the factory, out of the box, it's only the back windows that are darker glasses. No. The front now is tint so it looks absolutely awesome. This thin gray is a color that, you know, it, it, if you know, if you're in the car industry, if you're a car guy, car girl, you know that this tint of gray is really in tune with what's going on in the scene of uh, aftermarkets, of race cars, and street rods, and, and even motorcycles. A Harley Davidson comes in this tone of gray. It's called uh, Gunship Gray. Exactly. You guys saw my low rider back two years ago or so. It's the same tone of gray. All these gold or bronze accents, whatever you have here, is in tune with each other except for the rim. I have read is a little different than your non XR 392s. I haven't actually compared one because you know, 392 with an XR and there may be a 392 right beside that one without an XR. I've never had that opportunity to compare two of them together because they don't even exist on dealer lots. At this time, they're are I think roughly in the whole of Canada that are available for sale that is on the dealer like that you could get they're like about 22 23 what I really want to emphasize is that this 392 in stingray has two major options and that is extreme recon which has these rims wrapped in 35 rubbers and also I have the SOT now a lot of people don't like that SOT, including me. After trying it out, I like it. It's convenient, it's there. I mean, I don't see the bad in it. Um, maybe one more thing to go wrong, but that's with anything. You know, you don't drive, you know, then your car won't go wrong because you ain't got one. <laughs> Anyways, the SOT is convenient. Oh, by the way, SOT is Sky One Touch. And that's one cheap name. Whatever you want to name it, it's the one touch, moon roof, sun roof, open air button. It's the open air button, that's the way I'm in the <laughs> This Jeep here in the same way with the Extreme Recon Pack looks absolutely amazing. I mean, get out of the way and let you see it. I'm sure you've seen tons of them everywhere on the net. Now, I have yet to see a 392 in my area. Even on the road, I mean, Montreal, Quebec. Yeah, I haven't seen a 392 ever since it was announced and released. I have not seen a 392 on the road, not alone one with an extreme recon pack on it. Now, let me tell you, the 392 drives may be different, and extreme recon by itself also probably drives a little different, but them together, I have not put too many miles on this but it's so different than my V6 Panastar. Now what I like about this particular 392 is the light all wrapped around, this headlight, fog light, and my tail light. I think these 
daytime running indicators are all LED. Now correct me if I'm wrong, I know the first three are, but I'm not sure about this. I mean, I could just turn it on and check, but if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments, but everything is LED now and it's so much better. It's so much brighter. At first I was like, yeah, I, know, I like having halogen bulbs because they look so retro, they look yellowy, but they're not very bright. Therefore, it's not very safe on a road. The thing I like about this reason I do, it comes with the front camera. My Earl Grey, it didn't have that. It didn't have your LED, which is a little too dim on a road. It didn't have the front camera and it did not have adaptive cruise control. Now, if you watch my other video on my Earl Grey Rubicon, I really wanted adaptive cruise control, but it was not available. What's on the lot is what's on the lot, and you want to wait, just wait. <laughs> For my other video, if you didn't notice what I really like about Rubicons, or Jeeps in general, or these Wranglers in general, is listen to this. When you slam a door close, it should sound like. You feel me? On road, the behaviors between this and my V6 Earl Grey Pentastar, it drives absolutely different. Now, I cannot, I'm not one who could actually tell you it's because of the Extreme Recon Pack or is it because of the 392. I know they've, you know, reinforced the frame, they've had they have different setups with shocks and suspensions and springs different spring rates and whatnot, I'm sure, because the engine, the star of the show, is a lot heavier than whatever engine you have in your lineup of different Wranglers. All I know is that when I drive this Rubicon compared to my previous, the Earl Grey V6 Panasonic, is that the road behavior on this is vastly different. For the better, it drives more stable. It just feels velvety smooth, even compared to the other V6 Panasonic engine. Right? What I really enjoy is that this Rubicon is stock. It's stock, meaning it's under warranty. Everything here is under warranty. And the way it's set up, it's almost perfect. Color's perfect to me. It's got a lift, it's got big tires, it's got LEDs all around. And I think you also probably heard me say, I want the knees. Steel pump knees here, 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 because these tires being bigger, a little bit pokey, and they poke out just a little bit to cope with the regulations. They added these little things so that it covers most parts of your tire. So that's about it for this episode of my first look at the 392 Rubicon. Thanks for watching my video, and if you like this video, please remember to comment, like, and share. If you think my videos are good, up to your likings, please do consider subscribing. Help me out a lot. Later.